Ay, what a big stone. Why are you all watch stone? Is stone edible? Or is it for barbecue? No answer. I think I lick it. You know answer, so you know mine, right? Hmm. It's very salty. Oh, who that? What you doing here, Zadon? Huh? Oh, hi, Queena. You stand here, say nothing. Then you just like other dummy dummies. No can tell difference. They say someone always has double somewhere. There's so many of you here. The world's strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. Zadon, what matter? You no seem yourself. Huh? Oh, it's it's nothing. I'm always myself. Besides, it's not just me. You look just like your master, too. Of course! Master Quail is Quay Clan. We sane. Yeah. I guess everybody looks the same to somebody from another race. Hmm. Maybe you're right. What'd he say? Same race? Oh, Aiko, what happened to Sedan? He seemed much worry. I don't know. He just left without saying a word. We go look for Sedan together. Excuse me. So, um, what do you guys do here? Hmm? Oh, yeah. This blue light sure is pretty, isn't it? You like it too, right? You're all looking at the blue light. The light is unpleasant to us. Oh, really? Huh, it's that girl. Hmm? Hey, Zidon, what are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, Nidhi? I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. You're wasting your time. They won't give you a decent answer. Oh, but I think I can get free of him. I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but I I feel like we're similar. Similar? What do you mean? I know they're similar to me, but... No, no, not like that. They're a lot like the black mages we saw on the cargo ship and in Clara. Of course, we don't look alike at all. But I can see one thing. Their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just... out to lunch for a little while. Hmm. Not hollow, huh? Hey, where are you going, Zidane? Zidane? Hey, Aiko, Zidane just went... You saw Zidane? Uh, yeah? Hello? Why didn't you stop him? Huh? How come... He, he was acting kind of strange. 
If you're looking for him, I'll go with you. This way. Hey, sit down. Shh, what are you boy? What? That's no way to say hello. What the hell is this place? I thought we'd find some mean mothers down here, but they're all a bunch of wimps. <sighs> no challenge, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Hey, Amaret. Can I ask you something? No. Do you have any parents or family? What a stupid question. Sorry. I was just curious. I don't remember any loving parents. My first memory is of the face of a guy I had to fight. I only found meaning in life through combat. Funny how you put that in past tense, all due to my wonderful influence. What do you want me to do? Thank you. Please, you're gonna make me sick. <laughs> how about you? What? You mean my parents? I don't have parents. Say, Amarin, did Zidane go this way? Yeah, seems so. He had a real serious look on his face. I knew something was wrong. Gonna go look for him, right? Huh? I'm trying to say I'll go with you, Coach my drift. Hey! Where are you taking me? I told you, you are going to see Garland. Yeah, of course. But this way is a dead end. There is a way. See? You may find him through the portal. He awaits where the souls sleep. The floating castle where souls bide their time until their restoration. Pandemonium. Will you not say farewell to your friends? I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. You learn quickly. Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... If we're actually relatives, then... Then I want to take care of this little family matter myself. Now you listen to me. Where did you take Zidane? He went on his own to see Garland. Garland? Ooh, that's a sinister name. But Zidane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went. Yes, he went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar, that's a terrible lie. I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. He said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. Eh? We... we gotta tell the others. Heaven, grant the wandering soul eternal repose. So... 
This must be Garland's haunted mansion. <laughs> Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. All right, time to teach that tyrant a thing or two. So, we meet again. Huh? Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt this cycle of souls then. You are that genome. I'm glad you have returned. Shut up. Nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down. But first, you're gonna tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia? And why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. I may need your help anyway. Now, tell me everything. I constructed genomes to be vessels of the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. Do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. And his name is Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome? Impossible! He doesn't even have a tail! He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up! I'm not like him at all. He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys.
His ambition was unbecoming of a Gino, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia, that was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So, then, why... The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Bran Ball, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave, just like Kuja, to start a war on Gaia. That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was in his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that is why the blood of thousands has to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition, or our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! And what exactly do you gain by disrupting that cycle of souls or whatever? We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its soul. Filling the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole. Thus, war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone. And Gaia becomes Terra. But... how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree and the mist it the role of the Aoife tree is that of a soul divider. The mist you see comprises of the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah? But we stopped the mist. So much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls while it lets those of Terra Flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of this as an observatory. A place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? And what is this weird light? That is the center of the planet. The end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now. But when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra and its restoration will be that is why I wrapped up the light in the Aoife tree, to prevent the cycle of judgment of the souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Aoife tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of so, Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the Tree of Aoife. 
Yes, my angel of death, but only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul after I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. Huh? Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter, all the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all of that. You were destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power if I only had a place to call home. My brothers and Tantalus, Vivi, Freya, Amaranth, Quina, Steiner, Aiko, and... and Dagger. My home is with them and Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for my birth here as a Geno. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Don't you know what it means? to meet your maker. Shut up! I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? He's too good to make into a regular genome. But I have no choice. 